Hello and welcome back to Game Domain. My name is Chris and today we are talking about Wii Sports. Wii Sports Resorts launched 13 years ago and it had more sports than Nintendo Switch Sports. The new Nintendo Switch Sports games looks like a blast, but why are there only 6 sports at launch? They have plans to release golf at a later date, but really? Only 7 sports? Wii Sports Resorts had 12 different sports and like I said earlier, that game was released 13 years ago. Even the original Wii Sports had five, only three of which are even returning. The three new sports look cool and all, but seriously, what happened to Wii Baseball, Basketball, and Boxing? Those were some of the best ones! Here are the top 10 sports that need to come back in Nintendo Switch Sports, plus a couple other new ones. Number 10. Archery. One of my fondest Wii Sports Resort memories was finding out about the hidden archery easter egg. There is actually a hidden target in each of the levels that I didn't realize were there until I got access to the internet sometime in the mid 2000s and found out about it from a Wii Sports cheats app I downloaded online. It was one of the first times I used the internet to find something about a game that I didn't know so I have such a fond memory over it. It's such a fun game that should be a staple in this sports series. Also, archery in Nintendo Switch Sports feels like a no-brainer since there are two Joy-Cons, so there would be no need to purchase a pair of nunchucks like in Wii Sports Resorts. Plus, the gyro would be improved and there's a ton of room for minigames when it comes to archery since there are so many things you could do with a bow and arrow. Number 9. Boxing Minigame. Not just boxing. I'm talking about the training mode minigame version of boxing. This has to be one of the most underrated sports in the Wii Sports series where you try and knock out as many bags as you can. I remember constantly trying to beat my high scores as a little kid and looking up what the world record was online. This has to be one of the most enjoyable island replayable modes that I would play until I was generally too fatigued to go on. It makes for one heck of an addicting minigame that is just an absolute blast to come back to. Not only that, but your trainer is also Matt, which... He really has become a legend in the meme culture in these past couple of years. Number 8. Table Tennis. After seeing some of the absurd moves players were pulling off at the Tokyo 2021 Olympics last year, it's safe to say that I have a whole new respect for the table tennis. It's such a high reflex, snappy, quick paced game that is very different from its non-table counterpart. I highly recommend playing table tennis both in real life and in Wii Sports Resort if you have access to that game. If not, then all we can do is hope and pray that it gets added in later DLC. Or maybe even in a sequel like Nintendo Switch Sports Resorts? It'd be a bit scummy of Nintendo to hold games back for a resorts game, but it seems that that's probably what they're going to do. They likely want to see how well a Nintendo Switch Sports would do before they waste their money on adding in even more modes. Number 7. Cycling. I never hear people talk about this sport, so I'm going to assume it's an underrated gem. Yeah, you can cheese it super easily, but it's also super easy to not cheese it. If anything, that makes it even better because now you can play the game in two entirely different ways depending on how you're feeling. Maybe I just forgot to take my nostalgia goggles off, but I remember this game mode being one heck of a fun time. It's a real shame that they're forgetting about some of these resort gems that deserve to be in this game. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, Nintendo shouldn't be deserting content from their original games for this successor. There's no reason to leave out old games, especially since this game is coming so late in the Switch's life cycle. Number 6. Boxing. I mean, come on, you all knew it was coming. That's right, on our list is the classic, one and only, Wii Sports Boxing. Personally, I don't have as fond memories over the main mode of boxing like everybody else does. I actually prefer its training mode counterpart over this main mode. However, I see the appeal of the main mode, but it just didn't click with me. Regardless, I know just how much of a gaming and cultural icon Wii Sports Boxing has made on the world, so it would be an absolute disservice to not include it on the list. Even if it weren't as good as it is, it's part of the original five games included in Wii Sports, which means it has every right to make it into Nintendo's Switch Sports. I mean, sequels are supposed to improve upon their previous entries, not take away content all the old fans loved. <coughs> Paper Mario. <coughs> <clears throat> Honestly though, how is this game going to come out with half of the content of its predecessor? Number 5. 
Next up is my personal favorite Wii Sport, and that is Wii Basketball from Wii Sports Resorts. This game has stolen the hearts of so many people, and that includes myself. This game has to be the most replayable one by far out of all the sports. I seriously cannot count the amount of matches I played with my dad and my older brother trying to see who the champion would be. I'm still shocked that they got 3v3 basketball to work so well with only two players in a Wii remote, but well, they did it. And they did it phenomenally well too. I could still play this game to this day and I wouldn't get bored of it. I seriously can't emphasize enough how much replay value there is here. Even just shooting threes in the free throw mode is enough to suck hours out of my day. Wii Basketball is really just that fun and it's such a shame that it's not returning in Nintendo Switch Sports. Out of all the sports, I'd definitely like this one to return the most. I'd rather it be free, but I would probably even pay DLC money for it because I just love the mode that much. Number 4 Baseball I remember when my gym teachers brought in Wii Sports Baseball during our baseball unit and it absolutely blew my mind. I couldn't believe that our teachers brought video games to school. And not only that, we got to play them in class. This is when I realized just how popular this game was. I believe that baseball was the icon of Wii Sports and easily the game I played most as a kid. It would be really a shame if it didn't return as free DLC later on. Number 3 Volleyball 6v6 Having volleyball is cool and all, but why is it only a 2v2? It'd be a nice to see different modes that allow for a greater number of players, like 6v6 volleyball, which would be a heck of a lot more strategic. Obviously, 12 players wouldn't play at the same time, but instead it would be something like the two-player basketball 3v3s, but perhaps with one more player per team just to even things out. I think that in general, all the modes should have variations like these just to spice up the gameplay. These modes don't have to be playable online, but definitely would be cool in local and single player play. Number 2 American Football We've never gotten to see Nintendo's take on American Football. The closest thing we've ever gotten is Clan Blitz in Splatoon 2. So how cool would it be to have Nintendo's first take on American Football being some DLC for Nintendo Switch Sports? Personally, I think this would be a fantastic addition, and I'm really excited to see how Nintendo would add their own charm to such a beloved sport. It would make way more sense to do it here than anywhere else since a Mario sport take on American football would be way too risky for an only American sport. Number 1. A brand new sport. I'm not talking about adding in a new sport like football. I'm talking about Nintendo inventing a sport of their own, and then adding that sport into the game as free DLC. It's not a guarantee that it'd be a hit, but it would definitely be interesting to see what they could come up with. No matter what, you already know people would try and recreate that sport in real life if Nintendo actually came up with something good. The sport could really be anything with that spicy, nice Nintendo charm lodged right into it. Wow, that was a pretty long list. If you stuck with us this long, you must have seriously enjoyed this video. So I ask if you are still here, please subscribe to get notified of our future videos as well as like and share this video around. The more shares this gets, the more people see it, and it would really help us out. This has been Chris with Game Domain, and I will see you all again real soon.